Hello viewers, welcome back to Drawing Stuff with Paul Yateman. The channel has got a new name, Artie Alien. That's me as a nickname I had at school was The Alien. Today the time lapse recording is of me drawing a chibi style predator as designed originally by Stan Winston. Uh, this is based off a figurine so you could also say it's a still life. I started with the head adding an oval and a rectangle to flesh out the head. To this I added the mandibles, teeth and mouth. Here I gave the predator a neck and also opened the mouth wider as we can see in your reference photo with no neck and a closed-ish mouth. Working on the face, I was finding my 2B pencil felt a bit hard and scratchy so I check, kept checking it as I thought it was an H and yeah, well, it was 2B so there you go. With the head done, I added the hair snakes and then started on the body. Here I added the basic forms which were a couple of quadrilaterals and after that I added the legs using fairly blocky forms and worked on the armour and the detail of the body, slowly adding texture and shape. As the figurine I was referencing was fairly simple in form, this made for an easy adaptation to paper. For some of the armour and strap details, I drew on what I remember of my more realistic figurines of the Predator. At this stage, the armour detail added was fairly basic. The arms wound up being fairly simple. A couple of lines ending in boxes where the Predator's gauntlets are and then really simple club hands. And I added some boxy details to imply the presence of fists. To help with the position of the ends of the fists and also the gauntlets, I added some light curves as guidelines. So now it was time to add fish netting and the skin patterns to the Predator. I began inking with the grey brush pen I'd picked up at the shops earlier in the morning. It turned out okay. To give the armour some depth, I added overlaps and darkened some of the lines with the brush tip. I was thinking of using coloured brush pens for all the work, but then decided to ditch that and do what I know, which is the line art with fine liners. And my thinnest fine liner was used for the strap and fishnet details. None of the skin tones were inked. I chose to add them with marker only. So it was at this stage I started to thicken up the lines of the objects that overlapped others with the 0.5, and that was mostly the armour and some of the body parts and also the facial features. See me going in here, uh, adding extra detail and extra line weight, putting knots in the fishnets, adding a little bit of shadow in places as the form of patches, adding thicker lines to the objects in front of the other objects, and also where I want to draw out some detail, such as in the face. And once the initial line art is done, I erase the graphite and then thicken up some of the lines with my 0.8 uni pin and also 0.5 I think. And also a couple of the lines actually fail to ink. And while I'm adding fine liner, I add a little bit of shading in the form of hatching here and there. To finish up with my inking, I go around the entire drawing with my 0.8 uni pin to bring the predator out of the paper. This takes me about 40 minutes of real time work. Sometimes I get carried away and I'm not working to a clock with this anyway, so it's not like I went over time. With the colouring, I start with the armour, which is grey, and I use a mix of cool, neutral, and warms. I endeavour to keep the lighting consistent with it coming from the top left region of the screen. Mostly I stick to this, sometimes I don't. So the arm is mostly cool grey, I think. Two different yellows for the eyes to make them sort of stand out, but not much. Back to the cool grey for the armour. For some of the metal sheen, I use a warm grey. Here I start with what I envisage to be the highlights and then go darker in the tones used to build up some of the form. 
And after adding the colors to the throat, I feel the middle is not quite dark enough. So I go in and add some gray after I do the purple. And I think that worked out okay. So here I'm just, just deciding on what colors to use for the skin and the face. And I go over and draw it all in. Adding uh, shadows and keeping the, the liking scheme in my mind. So as I'm coloring in the forehead, I'm thinking I could do something similar to a Yoda or Groku drawing as the form if spread out with the little wrinkles in the um, forehead would be much the same. Adding the skin patterns was quite fun. Some triangles here, some cow patches there, and a lot of and a lot of random dots did the trick. My darkest available brown being the burgundy was used to colour the hands, I guess what we can call the shoes, and the straps holding the armour on, although I did forget to do the leg straps, but oh well. A bright gold was used to colour the hair jewellery and then after some quick brown shading I used dark neutral grey for the hair snakes and also the neck. I suppose what else could I call them dreadlocks. I used warm brown for the shadow ground under the predator and to finish him her or it off with the shading. Next up I tried something new. I added the colourless blender marker to my kit this morning and I wanted to have a go creating a blurred background. So here I added some implied bushes using two greens and keeping my lighting source consistent being the top left of the screen I added darker greens underneath the lighter. If I didn't have the blender I think the background would have worked as it is. What I do here though is go over the green with a lot of blender and you'll see the colour fade and merge. Not quite as much as I would have liked, but hey, live and learn, and it was my first go at it. Time for the thumbs up of approval. So here is the drawing scanned in showing the not as blurry as I wanted background. Not too bad given that isn't my first go at using the colourless blender for that sort of uh, trick. I applied a Gosson Blur to the green background and played with the levels a little in Photoshop to produce what we see now. Anywho, if you found this interesting, informative, entertaining, etc, subscribe, like and share. Until next time, you have been watching Drawing Stuff with me, the arty alien, Paul Yateman. Ciao!